The Minority Caucus of Nigeria's House of Representatives, Ruti Makirudilu, was a great leader and a quintessential lawyer during his term as pres uh, president of the Nigerian Bar Association. And as governor of Ondo State and chairman of Southwest Governors Forum, he prioritized the welfare and security of his people and championed the call for the establishment of Amotekun, a Southwest security outfit created to enhance the security of lives and property in the zone. According to them, the former governor was a courageous and fearless leader who spoke truth to power and was also a major advocate for the return of power to the South during the 2023 presidential election in the spirit of equity and fairness. This next report contains a timeline of events leading to the death of the former governor of Ondo State, Ruti Nekirudilu, who died on Wednesday. A second-term governor before his death, Akiti, as fondly called by friends and admirers, wore many hats and was acknowledged by many of his contemporaries as a dogged leader with unbending personal convictions. Until his death, he was the chairman of the Southern Governors Forum, a body with governors of the 17th state from three geopolitical zones, the Southwest, South-South and the Southeast. Governor Akiridulu led five of his colleagues in the Southwest as chairman, championing many reforms, including security. Prominent among this was the establishment of the Southwest Security Network, codenamed Amotekun. He won his re-election as Ondo State Governor in October 2020 and was sworn in for his second term in office in February 2021. Do solemnly swear that I will be faithful and bear true allegiance to the Federal Republic of Nigeria. However, his second term was marred with controversies amid health battles. It is on record that Governor Akiridolu was at the forefront of the rotational presidency in the build-up to the 2023 presidential election. Ondo State is a progressive state. He will be remembered for his stance that power must return to the South. The governor had to be flown abroad for treatment for his medical condition in June. He returned to Nigeria in September after months overseas, but stayed in Ibadan, the Oyo state capital. Eventually, the governor transmitted power to Loki Aidatiwa on the 13th of December when he embarked on another medical leave to Germany. Mm -hmm.